In this video, we're gonna show you three different ways to reset your Rode Rodecaster Pro 2 audio mixer. This is perfect if you are experiencing little bugs, little issues, or it's just not working the way that it normally works for you. Resetting it is a really good option to get everything going and to get you back on your way with the project that you're working on. Okay, so the first option that I'd recommend for you if you're having small bugs or small issues or just not quite working right is to power cycle the Rodecaster Pro 2. To do that, just tap the power button on the back and hit turn off. Now, if that doesn't work for you, if you have a stuck logo on the screen or something else is frozen in the software, that may not load for you. If your unit is actually frozen, the way I see it, you have no other choice as to unplug the power cable out of the back. Unplugging the power cable out of the back of a software-driven device like this is typically not a good option, but if it is totally locked up and you have no other choice, what else are you gonna do? You have to try to unplug it and plug it back in and turn it on. If you do go with this option and you turn it off or unplug it, make sure you do wait 30 seconds, 15 to 30 seconds, somewhere in there to make sure that it is completely dead. All the little electrical gremlins got choked out inside of it. Plug it back in, turn it back on, and hopefully that fixes your problem. The second option that you have to reset your Rodecaster Pro 2 is to do a full software reset on the unit. This will remove anything that you have saved, all your preferences and settings and sound pads and all that will get cleared out. It'll basically go right back down to day zero right after a fresh firmware install. Now, I typically do this anyway if I'm using a Rodecaster that I haven't used before. If there is all kinds of custom routing or if something on the device just isn't making sense, I'll ask the owner of the Rodecaster if I can reset it. Typically they're fine with it because they have a show saved on a USB drive or something like that and then I will reset the unit. To do that, you go into settings in the top corner, you select system, you select information, then you select view device information, and then you select erase and reset the device. If you click that, it'll ask if you're sure, then you hit reset. This does take a minute or two for it to go through the process. It deletes all your settings that you have and it will come in from the firmware reset that you did. Now, the first thing that it's going to do is it's going to go through the whole setup procedure with you again, and it's going to ask you if you want a firmware update. At this point, if your Ethernet cable or your Wi-Fi is still working wherever you are, I would definitely reinstall the firmware at this point. It does let you skip it if you want to, but I don't recommend that at all. I think this is a really good opportunity to reinstall the firmware on it to make sure that everything is working properly. Okay, so for option three, we can also reset the Rodecaster Pro 2 if it's connected to our laptop and we have the Rode Connect software loaded on our laptop. You can see here that I can select the Rodecaster Pro 2. In the top right-hand corner, you can select settings. Then you can select factory reset. Now the cool thing about this method is when you select factory reset, it will actually force a firmware update on your unit. So it'll delete, reset all your settings and it will flash it with new software. Again, hopefully that does resolve whatever issue that you have. So you can click the factory reset button here. It'll say, please disconnect all road devices from your computer. So I'll unplug the cable from the back of the roadcaster. And then the screen says, connect a device that you want to erase and reset. So I'm going to plug it back into the Roadcaster. And then you can click factory reset. It'll ask if you're sure. You can say you're sure. And then it will, like I said, it will force the firmware update. Again, hopefully this does solve whatever issue you're having. It'll bring it up to the current software, which is less error prone, hopefully. And this will get you on your way as well. Okay, so what happens if none of these options work for you? You reinstall the new firmware or you could not install the new firmware and it's just not working. In that case, I'd recommend reaching out to Rode Support by going to their website. They're extremely friendly, extremely responsive, and of course they do know what they're talking about to get you back up and running so you can keep doing the project that you're working on. If you have any questions about anything in this video, please leave a comment down in the comment section below. And if you want to see more videos like this in the future, please subscribe. Thank you for watching.